Hi there, my name is Yolanda Pondo and I am 21 years of age. I am an Eastern Cape native. I was born and bred um, in Port Elizabeth and I'm the first born of four children. My skipping rope is literally my favorite object at this moment. Um, although we have a love-hate relationship, sometimes we're good, sometimes we're really just on a bad level. But I think I've established a really good connection with it now because it's kind of helped me to redefine my own narrative. It's helped me to be more consistent in what I do in, in the sense that I'm more consistent in my life goals. I'm more consistent with my weight management, which has been a really huge issue for me. Um, so my skipping rope, literally, I've rediscovered it um, a few days ago, honestly, because I wasn't using it for the longest time, but I gained my connection again. Well, my skipping rope, well, I usually have like routines. Um, so I uh, set like 15 minutes um, every single day. So I wake up um, and then I go to school. After that, I come back and I set like 15 minutes just to be on my skipping rope. I play some music so that I can kind of like track um, how long it takes me. So I really do use that as a way to kind of like um, manipulate my exercises. So my skipping rope is the main aspect. And then I obviously have like my resistance bands and all of the other things that kind of contribute um, to me tracking um, how it works. Well, the pressure really just came from within. It, it came from a place of uh, trust, you know, where you're coming from this family and um, you, you genuinely want to feel comfortable and you genuinely want to feel loved, but they kind of like break the sense of trust in the sense that they, they pressure you into looking a certain way. They always question you when you're um, doing things, maybe you're eating too much or you're just sitting around and slouching on the couch. So that, that sense of like pressure just came from um, a circle of trust and then it escalated. Well, I'd like to say that um, society Society and the outer world basically exacerbated that matter because now I felt the need to kind of like please those that were surrounding me. I moved away from myself. I literally kind of like I left myself. I was just a shell of a person because of that um, experience. I definitely feel like I feel more secure at this point because I've left that sense of me wanting to please people because of um, the way that they're looking at me or the way that they perceive me. So now it's all about me. It literally comes from within. So that's why I've become more secure. I no longer have the pressures of society, the pressures of home um, wanting me to look a certain way. So now it's just, it, it's me in my pure self, in my pure element. I'm, I'm redefining my narrative. So now I'm more secure. I do things in a very healthy manner because I chose myself, I chose my peace. So I think that's why I'm really secure at this point. Um, having a healthy mind uh, is a really, really good thing because a great mind or a healthy or a positive mind is in a positive body. So if you're able to like take care of your body in a healthy way, you're looking after yourself, not necessarily working out every single day, but you're just maintaining your body. You're kind of um, allowing yourself to be more mentally aware and you're creating this positive environment for your mental health. So having a very good um uh, body is very vital because now you're able to kind of feel good about yourself. You're doing things in a light manner because everything is so carefree um, and everything just flows. So I think it's very important and mental health really does um, play a key role in your um, the way that you feel about yourself. I see myself continuing with my fitness journey because it's something that actually just I just fell in love with it. It's not, um, I don't have to dread myself when I have to go and uh, work out. I just feel so positive, I just feel happy. So it, it's really something that I want to invest in because I've seen the results that it can give me. So I really want to kind of progress in that field and you know, look at other ways in which I can also assist people who have been in my situation or who have experienced um, anything like this. So it really is something that I want to venture out in because I genuinely do, um, I love uh, skipping rope. It's literally, I've fallen in love with it. And I think uh, I can help someone else. You know, I can allow them to go uh, through that journey with me. So I really think that I'm going to continue with that. Well, obviously, um, I see myself, uh, you know, progressing in the sense that I'm always working out. I love my body. Um, I'm also kind of like enjoying the time being. You know, I see myself as a very, like a healthier version of myself um, because I want to also help others. I want others to feel the comfort that I'm feeling at this moment. So I really just want to have an influence in terms of, you know, working out and all of that. And I really do enjoy it. So I think in a few years, I might be the best version that I can be of myself. Um, yeah, I really do enjoy it. And I'm willing to go the extra mile to kind of like 
um, assist anyone else who has been experiencing anything like this.